Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my first tips and tricks video. This one is about large oil rig and in this video I will share all the large oil rig knowledge that I can think of. I will start from the dock and work my way up all the levels of the oil rig to show you guys what I know. If you like this video and want to see one about small oil rig as well, make sure to like this one and share it with a friend. Alright, let's get into it. The first thing that you should know about Dock is that you can heal under it. When you're in the water, you cannot heal normally, as you can see. But when you go under the Dock, you can mount the ladder through the wall, and then you are able to heal, so that's really useful. Another really important thing about Dock is knowing how to board it properly. The default way is by going up the ladders at the front, over here. But when you do that, people that are holding you from up there or up there have a really easy angle on you, so you want to avoid that most of the time. What I like to do is go up by using these pipes, so I jump up there and then go up this ladder. The reason for that is so that the guys up there have a way shorter window for them to see you and kill you when you go up this ladder. So I'll quickly demonstrate on how I usually board by using these pipes. Alright, so we're on L1 now, and there's not a whole lot that I can teach you about this area. Once you get up to L1, you want to get up to L2 as quickly as you can. And you can do so by using the front stairs if you want. But I like to avoid this because people are often still at this side of the oil rig because they just heard you boarding the dock. And when you get up here, they still have an angle on you if they stand up there, for example. So I like to use the back stairs over here. The quickest way to get up there is by crossing via this pipe, like this, and going up. And there's usually no one holding this if you're really quick with it, so that's what you want to do. We're on L2 right now, and the first thing that I'll be showing you guys about L2 are all the good angles onto uh, Dock and L1. This is by far my favorite one. You jump up these boxes and then up this pipe and you have a perfect angle on dock, on the ladder that everyone's trying to board and on the pipes if they're sitting there. So this is just perfect. The next thing that you should know about L2 is how to get up to L3. And most of you guys know you can, of course, take these back stairs or the front stairs. But there are actually two more ways you can get up that I found, so I'll just quickly show you those. Okay, this is the first one. You jump onto this box, onto this metal thing, and then onto the lamp, and you're up here. This way you avoid using those stairs. And this is really useful because sometimes people that are holding the oil rig hear you jumping up from L1 to L2 and they expect you to come up this, these stairs as well. So they'll be like right here holding the stairs. And if you jump up here, that's really something unexpected. So this is a really nice uh, jump to know about. This next jump is at the same area as the previous one. But this one is way harder. It's so difficult. You have to really practice it. You have to stand up here and then jump onto this part and like crouch jump over it. It's super difficult. It took me like one hour of constant practice to get this down consistently. But if you get it down, it's really useful because avoiding those stairs is so unpredictable and you just want to know this. So I'll just quickly demonstrate on how to make the jump.
on to L3 now. Uh, I'm gonna start with two dock angles. Uh, this is the first one. Jump up here, shoot. And when they shoot back, you just jump back. It's a really nice and quick peek. This is another one. Jump on this grill. Perfect angle. Really nice. Now I will show you a couple of ways to get up to L4 from L3. So the first one is from the same spot as the dock angle. If you want to go to the dock angle, you jump on the right side. But if you want to go up to L4, you jump on the left side like this. Onto this pipe and just crouch or run, whatever. And then jump up here. Another unexpected way to get onto L4 from L3 is by jumping up these barrels and then going like this onto L4. And that's about it for L3, so let's get onto L4. I've just shown you guys how to get up from L3 to L4 using this parkour, but this is also a good way to get down unexpectedly. Another useful spot is this one around the corner. It's a good spot to hold these stairs, no one will expect you to be up here. There's a really cool parkour over here that will bring you from L4 to L6. There's also a small little jump right here that avoids those stairs. You jump up this barrel of this container and on this lamp. This is one most people know, but I'll show it anyways. You jump up these pipes to get to the secret vent on L5. And another classic one, you use these exhaust pipes to get up to L5 and to the good crane. We're on L5 right now and we're in the small middle section. You can jump up these pipes to get a really nice angle on the scientist spot where some people like to camp. You can also get in between these pipes for a really nice hiding spot if you need one. This right here is a nice little jump onto L6 to avoid the stairs. Here's another really useful parkour. It's the helipad parkour. Um, it is kind of loud though, so you have to be careful about that. Now we're on the good crane side. These boxes are, are a really nice hiding spot and a perfect head glitch for anyone pushing you. When you're on the other side of the vent, you can get up to L6 by jumping up here and then up this pipe and if you like sit in this uh, turn you can like get a little jump boost and get up here and once you're up here you can either go like this to this side or you can just go straight to the right or you can choose to go this way and go to the research room when you're running here and you decide you do not want to go to L6, you can also go like this and go to L5 again. Which is really useful at times when you know there's someone right there holding you. Alright, we're at L6, the final level. I'll show you guys some more jumps and peaks that I know of L6. This is a nice one. Everyone who goes up these stairs always just looks up and no one is expecting you to be up here, usually. The famous red room jump. Everyone knows this, I think, and it's a pretty easy jump once you once you practice it a couple of times. You can also jump up there from the barbecue side, like this. This is a quick way to get up to helipad. I'm sure you guys have come across some guy that just sits on the helipad forever until you peek him and that you feel like there's not really an angle and the only option is this which usually leads to your death. There's a nice little 
peak you can do you jump up here and on this and then you have a pretty good angle you can also jump on this side or the front side to get some more angles and usually they don't expect this this is another really nice way to get up to helipad quickly and finally a nice little spot that you can get up to just jump up this thing up to here and this is another really good spot to hold the top these were all the tips and tricks that I could think of that would be useful to you guys. If you like this video and want to see one more about small oil rig, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, boys.